large. 40. <laughs> <laughs> so just the sheer like breadth of of age uh, gap was uh, was so immense <laughs> yeah. uh, between the two at tip top. It was a great uh, great moment just to see you know how how diverse the melee scene is, right? Yeah. So. so we have uh, Kevin kind of using his, his signature move, Inner Guy 8, using his signature move of shooting a lot of lasers. Uh, Inner Guy 8, a student of uh, fiction. Okay. Regularly gets fiction lessons and is a large... Um, his Falco advocates the Second Amendment, if you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> they live and die by the gun, those uh, laser-heavy Falcos. Boy, he's shooting. He's shooting. So I think this matchup is, uh, is interesting. I think a lot of people will say that, ooh, oh, I thought the arrest was gonna happen right there. I think a lot of people would say that Puff clears Falco, and I think it's a little bit more nuanced. I, I agree. I think Falco has a lot of really strong tools. I think it is difficult. I think it is way, way difficult for Falco to be able to do well in this matchup than a character like Fox, let's say. But I think Falco has all of the tools. You just have to be very disciplined to be able to play this matchup well. It reminds me a lot, and of course I look at things from a Sheik perspective, but it looks it reminds me a lot of something like, uh, well, I guess even Sheik Puff, right? Where if you try to behave against Puff like you would most of the other top of the cast, you're going to get absolutely punished for it and punished in like insurmountable ways. But if you behave disciplined and you choose the right moves, like you're not fighting uphill battle, you're fighting an even one. A lot of people get caught up in trying to play their own melee than trying to play the melee that presents itself during the match. Exactly, exactly. See, uh, Shine almost put Jigglypuff in the magnifying class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and at 100%, the Falco up smash. The Falco up smash is a threat. Kill in yeah. like maybe 15, 20%. Up smash, uh, up down tilt might be a threat at this point. That's probably gonna be a trade. Yeah, down tilt probably for the kill, yep. yep. That down tilt's devastating too. It's also really good. It, it, Jigglypuff has a good shield. Even then, Falco's down tilt is a shield poke threat. Oh. Building up some nice percent. That's another thing too. Every little percent does count versus Puff because you can, oh, unfortunately got right below the ledge there. But the every little percent counts because against Puff, there are a lot of situations where at higher percents, you can rely on a stray, like strong hit back air in order to close out a stock, where that might be available to you at like 100%, where other matchups, it wouldn't be available to you until past 150, right? Yeah, absolutely. Puff staying on the platform, Falco trying to control the bottom floor there, using some auto cancel back airs. That's kind of the, the trifecta of really strong moves that Falco is going to use in neutral. Laser, back air, up tilt. Those three moves are could do 95% of your neutral with Falco. Everything else is icing. <laughs> okay, there it is. Ooh. Yep. That was a that was a great scout there from OG Kid. Yeah, honestly, the difference there was really just those couple of rests, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> that was it. That was, that yeah, was the inner, inner guy eight was uh, definitely doing very well. Was I thought that they were playing the matchup pretty well, pretty uh, pretty intelligently, right? Uh -oh. But sometimes it's just the oh. stop tag. <laughs> what is it? Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I ain't stopping." <laughs> That's true. So I'm not normal. I play Falco. He's a different kind of beast. He's a different kind of beast. <laughs> So taking uh, Jigglypuff to Pokemon Stadium, I believe that, I mean, this is a pretty small stage, right? So Lower ceiling. I would, yeah, I would imagine between this and Yoshi's, I would have, oh, I guess uh, because it's the best of three, Yoshi's was probably banned. So this would definitely be the next best pick for this matchup. <laughs> that might It'd be, be a like kill. that, yeah. Yeah, there it is. They just decided they didn't want to play with the first 30 seconds of the first stock. You know? <laughs> We're done with this one. Yeah. really working the crouch and also Puff ends up in a basically crouch animation during the jump squat and you can use that low profile to get underneath Ooh. lasers. Dog smash though. Ooh, that was like about as close as you could be to the percent, you know? Yeah, it was certainly uh, a pretty- I didn't think it was gonna kill. Yeah, it was a, a pretty early percent. For a Falco up smash, that was pretty early percent. We're gonna Maybe get this bad DI. 
It could have been. So the grass transformation is really interesting. You can see Hungrybox loves this transformation because the friction values on the grass are actually different, and Jigglypuff's rollout goes like twice as fast. It's mm. actually super scary and super cursed looking. You just see that little ball zoom. The, the creature's moving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you'll see uh, if uh, if Hungrybox uh, ends up on this, it starts spamming rollout because it's genuinely hard to react to. The, the travel uh, speed is so fast that it is difficult to react and jump out of the way of, right? I like the idea of the Julie Puff neutral air. Unfortunately, didn't connect. Oh, oh, oh good that. DI. I, that could have killed. The, the, for sure, it could have killed. You're absolutely right. I, the, the DI was very good. <laughs> oh my God, Houdini straight to the ledge. How did he escape? Oh, unlucky. That's a tough angle to hit. So. It is, and you have to you have to hit tough angles in order to get around the edge guards that Jigglypuff has. It is very difficult and sometimes impossible, straight up. Yeah. Ooh, the, the, the single hit up there. That was a do-or-die moment. If you let Puff get even a little bit of a lead here, Rest is very online, and you need to start, you know, bringing the pendulum back in your, your side of the swing. Absolutely. At this percent, Falco, it, it's almost like you want to be at... Oh, oh, what a shot. Really good tech chase, and OG Kid <laughs> yeah. able to close it out 2-0. That was a situation where when you are a fastballer versus a puff, at 20%, you're super scared. At 80%, you're chilling yeah. because the, the rest is not there anymore, right? Yep. And maybe not 80% because you do run the risk of getting like knocked off stage in Edgeguard, right? We but, know what you're talking about, yeah. man. <laughs> it's like, there's, that, there's that little sweet spot where you feel a lot safer from any Edgeguard and rest is like not available, whereas at like the lower percents, it is very scary to have to deal with rest. Yeah, that was a that was a scary rest. And uh, OG Kid, he hit a shot, and now moving on. Daytona Beach is hero. Still, yes. still in the winner's side. And shout-outs to, to OG Kid for uh, pulling the trigger on some of those. That that tech chase, uh, the platform rest uh, tech chase at the end, that's that's not something that's easy to do. It is no. difficult to execute. And also, when the pressure is on, you're trying to make it to the next round of the tournament. Yep. Sometimes you're like, do I want to make this, uh, take this risk? What if I fumble it right? And If just... he missed, he very easily could have just lost that entire game entirely. Absolutely. So that was an all or nothing. Shout outs, very, uh, very good job uh, in that matchup. And also to Enter Guy for playing very well with yeah. Falco. Gotta Honestly, say, it pains me to see my boy lose, you know, but. It's always tough. Such is, such is the nature of competition. It will always happen. You know, Evo this year just passed the 10,000 unique entrant mark. Sure. There's gonna be 5,000 people that don't win a match at Evo. Yeah. <laughs> That's tough. I hadn't thought about it like that, but they are the, you know, the pyramid shape of the community, right? No, genuinely, you need a strong base. <laughs> genuinely, God's strongest soldiers. Like they yeah. are absolutely putting the community on their back. I, there is a uh, there's a Georgia melee player, uh, Kryptonic, that uh, has posted about this a few times. But they show their I think it's like the Liquipedia page, and they have not won a set yet. But they go to 